Welcome to the Mustache Podcast. Today is March 10th, 2013, and this is episode two. I am Steph, also known as Super Steph on Ravelry. And I am Stacy, also known as Free Flower on Ravelry. And we just like to start off with a few more thank yous. Um, a big, big thank you to Leslie and Laura from the Knit Girls. They have been phenomenal in helping us yes. deciding on hosting yes. and um, giving us little shout outs, <laughs> which we really appreciate because. They have a lot of followers, and shes they've really been sending a lot of um, traffic our way. Oh, and love. And oh, my love. goodness. Yes. It's just... It's, People are so nice. <laughs> it makes my day. It makes my day. It's, it's yeah. amazing. It is. And not to be all braggy and everything, but... Yeah. Getting, yeah. getting a PM from the Knit Girl. <laughs> I know. It's like this knitter celebrity yes. has contacted you, is what it essentially feels like. And I know they're normal people like us, but they're not really... <laughs> uh, yeah seriously yeah uh, and then um also we want to spend a special thank you to holly from the sheepish podcast thank you, um, thank you so much for your you. your sweet self <laughs> we really appreciate um you mentioning us and yes if there's anybody else who has mentioned us and you feel like you need a little shout out also just let us know and we yeah, well, we're trying you. to. <laughs> <laughs> you shout, we shout, you know, it all works together. It does. But thank you. And so many people, so many, many, mm -hmm. many people. Um, I think we just checked before we started. I think we had 104, was it 14? Yeah, 114. 114 people in the group. Yeah. Episode two. Episode two. <laughs> I know. It's just a little excited. Thank you. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm really back in. Yeah. Um, so exciting. And so mm -hmm. many of you have friended. Uh, so at least me and <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm getting, I'm, it's gotten to the point where it's all a blur. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really trying to, um, learn everybody, um, as individuals yes. and not just one big mass of friendship. Um, it's so fun. You guys are coming yeah. in and you're chatting yes. and you're talking amongst yourselves mm -hmm. and it's, it's so good. We're it's having so a lot fun. of fun with yeah. the Ravelry board. Yes. Yeah. It, I was already addicted. To oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's like now it's way worse <laughs> yeah, yeah so it kicked it up a notch but thank you very mm -hmm. much and we'd also like to say um thank you if you are joining us again if you're coming back if you already caught the mm -hmm. you know zero and the one and you're coming back mm -hmm. thank you thank yes, you for, thanks for returning yes and if you're brand new welcome hello we hope you <laughs> um find something that you like and yes. we hope you return yes very much so. Yeah. So, um, you want to get into FOs? And yeah, I think we have some FOs. Yeah, like moments after the last podcast. Really? <laughs> you yeah. finished that? Fast. Well, I just had the heel. Yeah. So, am I in the shot? Let's see. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Oh, We've got a oh, mirror oh, back oh, there. Oh, We're oh, not oh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> just okay. So these are knit picks. The um, Felici sport weight mm -hmm. in the recessed colorway mm -hmm. and it is Allison Johnson's pattern just your basic sock uh, sport sock and it is a free pattern so you can check that out on Ravelry I used the cast on number which was 48 and then I decided to add the ribbing all down the front just mm -hmm. to give it a little extra and I added the Laura Linneman afterthought heel mm -hmm. uh, which I love with the stripiness so I'm I just I love these socks and it I looks love like them. a nice long leg yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I wanted to get as much out of the yarn as possible so um I knit a nice really really long leg did you have any yarn left over yeah yeah and I haven't <laughs> weighed it yet oh so you don't even know what your yardage is it's sport weight. I'm not used to measuring sport weight. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how to eyeball nope. that. Nope. I have no so idea how much. I need to go get the um, my scale. I have uh, most of my things. Actually, we're recording right next to mustache. Mm -hmm. um, Fiber view. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just crack the door a little. <laughs> um, and I have almost everything in there, but I still have like my ball winder and my Swift and my scale. 
downstairs. Where oh, I, yeah. Where I used to keep my stash. Because I don't really have a place up here to do that. Well, I, would, I really want to get one of my those. My scale is actually our kitchen scale. <laughs> yeah. So it actually has to live in the kitchen. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You know, dual purpose. It's yeah. really cool. So while you talk, I'm going to put them on. <laughs> okay. Um, I also have a finished sock. You might recognize Jaywalker. Jaywalkers, and there are two. <laughs> <laughs> two Jaywalkers. Um, I finally finished them. Um, they are a little snug, just like I feared, but I can get them on, which is what was important. Um, so this is Jaywalker by Grumperina, and I use the Little Monkeys Stitch and Spin. I think is what it's called. Sorry. Um, yarn and it's the macaw colorway and um, little yeah little monkey stitch and spin. Um, I also did an afterthought heel because I wanted to maintain the stripe sequence down the front. And this That's is so the pretty. Yeah, thank you. Um, this is the second time I've knit Jaywalkers. Uh, the first time I had used size ones. And I know a lot of people complain that jaywalkers are a little too tight. And it's it's true, the pattern does not give um, very much stretch in it. Um, but my jaywalkers on size 1s on the foot were a little loose. I really like a lot of negative ease, which is why I went down to size zeros. If I was going to knit it a third time, I would mm. use size 1s for the leg. And then size zeros for the foot because it's the leg part that I have a hard time, like squeezing really over good idea. my heel. Yeah, and, yeah. So that's so tighten it up and loosen it up. Yeah, basically. Um, and I'm sure there's probably different chevron patterns, different ways. I think what it is is these decreases is what makes it really tight. And there's probably a different way you could do those decreases, but the. The Jaywalker pattern is very popular on Ravelry. Because mm -hmm. it's so cute. It is cute. And then we have been doing the month of socks. Yes. And I have... Sock it to me March. Sock it to me March. <laughs> um, I have another sock finished. Another pair of socks finished. Um, these didn't take long Over at all. Overachiever. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I oh haven't even God. seen these. I know. I kept them a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I haven't taken pictures, so they're not on Ravelry yet. Oh, sneaky. Um, <laughs> <laughs> these are Monkey Socks by Cookie A. And so cute. It's such a fast pattern. And the thing I really like about Monkey Socks is this is hand-painted yarn. It is um, abstract fiber Matisse. And... It pulls, at least for the stitch count that I needed, it pulls and it spirals, but you can't tell. And I like to say, monkey don't care. <laughs> monkey don't care. It's um, really pretty. And something that I found interesting about the yarn is not a lot of yarn labels will tell you what the actual wool is used unless it's merino. And this is actually Superwash BFL. So I think this is my first pair of BFL socks that I know of. Oh, wow. So I'm interested in seeing how well they wear. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I, You know, I don't own any <laughs> yarn like that. Yeah, but I, that you know of. Yeah, that I know of. But I have seen that a couple of times just recently where... Superwash BFL? Yeah, or it says it's Cordell or um, oh. Cheviot. So maybe it's a new thing that yarn makers are trying to lean Especially, towards. I think especially the indie people. You yeah. Know, they know what they're sourcing. Yeah. And so if the indie dyer is sourcing that BFL or mm -hmm. then they, you know, could transfer that over. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's a new trend and I totally agree. I like it. Yeah. It's, it was a nice happy surprise. Very cool. Very cool. I didn't know until I looked it up on Ravelry when I was um making my show notes. So it didn't even like, oh, feel different while you were knitting. It did, but it's also it's um it's a light fingering. So I thought that's what the difference was. Mm. And it feels just a little rougher. Um, not the super soft merino that I'm used to working with. Mm -hmm. So that was a little bit different. But even some merino 
isn't, you know, there's a whole range because I've knit some merino that, yeah, some BFL feels better than some merino. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Um, great. Okay, so then do we want to go into what we're currently knitting? Sure. Do you want me to keep going since you've got knitting in your hands? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, let me. I've got all my stuff strewn about. <laughs> um, I have been working very hard on my husband's sweater. I am on the sleeves. And this is the uh, number 17 man's cabled cardigan by Josh Bennett. And it's from Vogue Winter 2010. And look at these look at that. big honking sleeves. <laughs> cool. Um, I finally started the cap shaping. Like I'm just a couple rows in. To the, like you can see one round of decreases on the cap shaping. Nice. So... Um, yeah. <laughs> you say that with a sigh. <laughs> I, know, I just want them done. And I'm, I'm kind of scared I'm not going to meet my deadline. Like when I first heard March 31st deadline, thanks for Kel. Um, <laughs> oh, no problem. I could totally do that. But then but you the sleeves whipped out um, two pairs of socks in the meantime. <laughs> you think maybe that that's up That might have, that might have been a little bit distracting. <laughs> just a little tiny bit. Just a little bit. So, yeah. Well, let me talk about my socks. Okay. Okay. Well, actually, no. Let me start with my sweater. So you've seen okay. this before. It is the palm to pin. And um, uh, last week, I knit the sleeve. Look at that. Oh, okay. that's a whole sleeve. So that, yeah, I know. So it's in the round. <laughs> so this is where I was when I showed it to you uh, last time. I had that mm -hmm. much sleeve. There you go. And since then, I knit the rest of the sleeve. And that is the sleeve cap. Right there. And then this is the second sleeve. So so then you knit all of that and this because you weren't doing two at a time or you were doing I two at a time? I uh, had the ribbing done. Oh, okay, good. So I started right there at the top of the ribbing and I've knit that much. And I, I, I knit a whole bunch before March 1st. <laughs> Actually, March 1st, I think I knit a lot on this mm -hmm. sleeve. And then on March 2nd, I cast on my socks because a couple of us girls get together and we cast on the skew socks together. Mm -hmm. So I have one skew sock, which I meant. So you cast on down here at the toe. This is skew by Lana Holden from Nitty Winter 2009. It's a free pattern and it is super cool. Um, so you, you cast on at the toe and this is like, there's a left sock and a right sock. So this is where your big toe is going to be and you knit and you only increase on one side for a while and then you get to where you're increasing on one side and decreasing increasing decreasing which is really cool you go up the foot you do or it's so weird. <laughs> yeah i don't it think it just looks weird i know and i don't think you guys can see it because you really need a foot in there so when we need one of those disembodied feet mm. um to go in there but this is the heel so you, you see how it like swirls around the heel and how she does that is so cool and so much easier than you think it's going to be. It, no. it really is so much easier. It's a lot of pages of pattern, but it's because it's left and right. So, um, and a lot of pictures to show you what it looks like from different angles. It's really not hard, not hard at all. And you, um, Kitchener up here on the heel and you Kitchener on the heel and then you continue up? Yes, you... Oh. I don't think you can even see. Okay, so that... That is where I Kitchener right there. You, so you don't even see that when you're all done. It's... It's amazing. So, it's amazing. <laughs> so now I'm on the foot and I only have the one sock because unlike Amanda, a super smart girl in my group, she weighed hers out and did two cakes. I just like flew uh, by the seat of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to get into the habit of making two cakes. Because uh, it's, I know. You're so smart. You showed me that trick and I like. It's, yeah. So but anyway. You, you did that pretty fast. I mean, that's, that's a week. Yes. So Amanda and another girl named Claire in my group are doing skis with me and you know, I haven't heard from Amanda feedback yet, but Claire, she's like, skew, skew. I'm supposed to be studying. Skew, skew. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So it's a fun pattern and it's free. So check it out. And if you've got some of that hand painted that you're just not sure what to do with. Oh yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it does nice things with yes. this. Plays nicely with the fabric. Yes. So what else are you working on? Uh, I have some hand spun socks. I talked about my hand spun last time. And so um, it's my oops, got tangles. It's my Western Sky Knits. Um, it's Polworth and Silk. And I talked about maybe doing so Marlene. By I Cookie love Western. A. I know. Sky Knits. Their colors are pretty. I talked about doing Marlene by Cookie A. But um, it wasn't a right match for this yarn. Oh. Yeah, bummer. Um, and then I started another pair. I started a lot of pairs, actually, <laughs> to be honest. I started many, many sock cuffs were knit. Um, I started this, and I thought this was going to be it. This is um, Hedgerow by Jane Cochran. And it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And then when I got into the pattern, I realized it's this yarn is a little too delicate. And you can't see, I don't even know if you, you guys are going to be able to tell the difference between the stitch pattern and the ribbing on the cuff. Um, but I think it needs um, a little less it. stripey in it, maybe a little less color variation um, to be able to tell the texture or maybe a thicker yarn would oh. you be able to see the pearl bumps and it's, it's a really soft. <laughs> it's so, soft. so I wasn't entirely happy I was like well I'm gonna cast on another sock just in case and see what happens because I have two cakes <laughs> and then I case found in point here case in point. Um, these are called black rose socks by Susie Anbin. This is also a knitty pattern. Um, it's actually a knitty spin pattern. So it's, Ooh. yeah, it was created for hand spun yarn. And it's from Knitty Winter 2008. And what it is is there is a lace panel that goes down kind of off center on your foot. Um, it's not completely centered with the foot and it's mirrored so the right, the right foot it goes down the right side of your foot and the left foot it goes down the left side and it's a pretty simple lace pattern and oh. then the rest is stockinette and I just think it's a much 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 better match for this yeah, yarn I like that. Yeah. because the stockinette shows off the yarn and then a little bit of lace and the pattern doesn't get lost like with the other ones so this is the one I'm sticking with and it fits, which is another issue choice. I was having with different, all the different socks I tried is I had issues with. Well, fit. you know, that's one of the great things about that coming from a spin to knit mm -hmm. um, resource is that it was made to let, you know, hand spun yes. do what it's supposed to do. Yes. That's so pretty. So, yeah. So sock two, we'll see how far I get before the month is out because um, I have a sweater to knit. <laughs> <laughs> sweater to get through. <laughs> And I have, uh, I cast on another pair of socks, so I did some anklets, and um, out of more Felici, and let me put my hand in so I can kind of spread this lace pattern out. So what I did was, um, this is the Felici Sport Weight Stripey Socks, again, in the Ecology colorway. I don't know if you can tell, but I did a broken rib here on the cuff for two inches. And then I decided that I wanted to put in a some sort of open work, um, not too lacy, but nice and open and airy pattern on the top of the foot. So I just made it up. It's super easy. Um, I Everybody was asking me, what's it called? I haven't looked through stitch dictionaries to find out what it is. I'm calling it open work broken rib because I'm just going around and doing mm -hmm. a yarn over, knit two together, purl, knit, yarn over, knit two together, purl, you know, just keeping it going. And mm -hmm. because it's alternating back and forth, it's very polka dotty. So I am going to call this pattern Claire because she has inspired me and she loves polka dots. So I hope <laughs> she likes it. So I have one sock done and oh, I also did an afterthought heel because basically I'm addicted to afterthought heels. Thank mm -hmm. you, Laura. 
and um, I cast on the second sock, and I would be done if uh oh <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying to do too many things. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I thought you you ran into another problem or something. Well, like, like, oh so no. What I decided to do was this the sock. I put the lace pattern just a little too far down, a little too close to the toes, so when you put it on, it just feels like a little uncomfortable around where your toes start. I just, I didn't like it. Um, so I thought, well, I'll just make the, the lace angle, and that way you'll have a nice clear spot where your little peaky toe is, <sighs> and then you could do a left and a right, and I was playing with it, and I, I knit it and ripped it out t at least twice. Knit it again. I was thinking it's going pretty the good. The ankle's pretty cute, well. though. Yeah, the ankle's cute. It's a little wonky. It's a little wonky. Oh, um, it doesn't make it, like, bias or something? It it, it kind of stair steps a little bit, and then it goes a little bit straight, and then it does a little stair step again. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. So, I am ripping. Rip, 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 rip. <laughs> Literally ripping. Um, I'm going to rip it back. See, I already have some of the needles in further down, right where I do the first one. So it's just slightly above the heel. But, you know, God, they're anklets. So and no it's big sport deal. weight. It is sport weight. Yeah. I, I knit it twice yesterday afternoon. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, you know, anybody could. I'm going to rip it out and just, I'm just going to do the full foot again mm -hmm. in the lace. And I'll probably just stop it. Like, even just one repeat less, I think, so would be enough. Delicate little pinky toe. Well, delicate it? little pinky toe. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, that's what I'm working on. <laughs> uh, I have made a little bit of progress on my New York cardigan. Um, it is New York cardigan. It is a paid pattern on Ravelry, and it's by Erin Harper. And I'm knitting it out of the Elizabeth Levold silky wool. Um, last time I had the body finished, and these are the lace panels. There's two of them. I have them kind of hooked together. Um, that run up instead of a button band. So these are the fronts. These are the fronts. Ooh. So, yeah, you talked about that construction being just a little bit different. Mm -hmm, so that so what the sweater it already has a front. It has a little bit of a front, just kind a of like tiny. on your cardigan, how it's just a little bit right here and then it's going to have a wide band and then up here since it's so wide and you don't this I mean this is just it this is straight knitting in this lace pattern all the way up and then you join it um, up here mm -hmm. um, so it'll give kind of like a soft folded cowl look nice so this is it's boring <laughs> it's already gotten boring which is why there's not a whole lot done on it oh no um, I know I know but I've also been concentrating yeah you've got a lot things. of other stuff going yeah <laughs> I have too much going on this is um I probably shouldn't have so many things on the needles so maybe next month this will get a little bit more work done on it and I can get it finished so you're gonna Try quicker. to focus on your husband's sweater. I have to. I've got to get that monkey off my back. <laughs> it's the big brown monkey. The big brown monkey <laughs> off my back. So, yeah. Well, the only other thing that I'm knitting on is the charity strip. So, I am almost at the end of the row. Yeah, yeah, I have mine too. Yeah, I ran out of yarn and um, I didn't knit on it for several weeks. Uh, Lizzie actually gave me more yarn since she is giving us the yarn so that we can knit strips. Um, and we talked about this in our first episode. So I am almost done, actually. I have I think I'm on my last blue, and then I've got one more block of gray, and then I'm done. But I haven't knit on it for a few weeks <laughs> because I've been doing everything else under okay. the sun. I'm not as far. <laughs> um, this is, I think this is my second to last block, and I ran... <laughs> I need to distribute the yarn. Yes. I got all of it. I got all the yarn. You I'm keeping do. it. <laughs> you do. I would be done if Stacy. Yeah. Was <laughs> you'd be done. Yeah, you'd be done. I would be done. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, spinning. I I did. Okay. Imagine what I showed you last week. Like that much fluffier. A little bit. And more. brown because it's a. It's the. Uh, what do you call that? The loop bullseye? Yeah, it's a loop bullseye, which... Gradient. Gradient. 
almost radiating. So you're still, you went from, <laughs> did you start with dark brown? No, it's light brown. Um, orange, I think. Oh, really? There's we'll orange. Find out. <laughs> well, I forgot about the orange. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, I'm, Fun. I'm, I'm, I'm slow. I have spun before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a knitter, first and foremost, I guess. It's, it's what I'm really passionate yeah. about. And so I spin and I really enjoy it when I'm doing it. But mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. Well, I have to say that the biggest motivator for me is finished yarn. Yeah. Which I'm just kind of a catch-22. I know. But I had <laughs> recently finished yarn in January. So now it's like, go, go, go. I want, to, I want I know. more. I want more. I know. That's the tour de place. It was mm -hmm. like... So intoxicating. I don't. I didn't knit at all. I don't think. Very or very, very little. Oh, there very. was no time. No, it was spin, spin, <laughs> spin, spin. Get it done. <laughs> That's right. Show your picture every day. Cause, yeah. You know, everybody's on there saying the pressure, the pressure. <laughs> the world is on my shoulders. It kind of broke both of us. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, case in point. Um, th this is not yarn I finished recently, so don't get too excited. <laughs> This is yarn I finished in January it's beautiful. that I started in September because I was broken <laughs> toward a fleece. So it so took me beautiful. a very, very long time. But what this is, is what it? motivated me. Yeah, this what is, is it? what is it? This is um, Natural Obsessions. It is 8020 Merino Tessa Silk. And the colorway is Coffee Toffee. And mm -hmm. I actually had eight ounces of this, and this is the first four ounces. So I started the, um, if I, where'd my bobbin go? Oh, here it is. Um, this is the last two ounces and I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you what it looked like in the braid. And then this is, this is an ounce spun up. And I'm working on making it lace weight. It's two ply. So it's it takes beautiful. it takes so forever. Thin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it takes up forever. I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see, but we'll try. At least to see how thick that is. It's like one little crease. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I can't see if that's focusing. But um yeah, it's beautiful. It is so soft. And um, Ooh, I'm very excited. Yeah. I am really focused on finishing this because I'm going to try and knit Nuvum. <laughs> Orange, you glad it's lace. <laughs> I named it. That's how proud I was. You know I'm oh. proud when I name it. And when I make a tag. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so nice, Steph. Thank you. Okay. So fun. Get back here. It's fun. Um, so, yeah. That's Beautiful. what I've been working on. So did you get any new things in the mail? I did. Me too. A little bit. Me too. Just a little. Me too. I got some hand spun. I don't make my own, so. <laughs> <laughs> you needed a fix. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, so isn't this gorgeous? Okay, so one of my plurky friends, um, Heather Blanks, and she has, her shop is the numeral four, cats, fiber, and such. I hand wrote it, but I don't know. My handwriting's not that great. Maybe a little closer. A little closer. Hold it in. Okay, four cats, fiber, and such. And this is a super wash uh, BFL. Mm. Yeah. She calls it super heroine. It is about 172 yards from 113 grams, so it's a worsted weight. And, um, you know, I think that she... I, whenever somebody friends me, I go and I check them out and I look at their timeline and if mm -hmm. they have a blog, I go and I check that out and she has an Etsy shop. So I clicked over there and I saw this one and it just, it grabbed my attention. I like it. I like those colors. Mm -hmm. I like the barber bowling. I think it's super cool, but I didn't buy it. And then oh, sometime <laughs> later, <laughs> sometime spoiler later, alert, <laughs> she put a coupon Oh! <laughs> Give me a coupon nice. code. Yeah, that'll do you it. You had me a coupon. <laughs> so I click on her shop to see, well, what does she have? She got a coupon. And I saw it. And I said, it's meant to be. It is meant to be. You meant to be mine. So it took all of like three seconds. Thank you, Etsy and PayPal. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Detriment to the bank account, yeah. but yeah, I love it. it smells good. It's do you squishy. know what you're gonna do with it? No, no. It's pretty. <laughs> it's, somebody, pretty. it's like it's somebody it's like put that on plurk. You know? It's one of those really cute little like retro things, and mm -hmm. it's a lady at a cash register, all you know, Victorian like, mm -hmm. and um, it says, "Dear yarn shop owner, please don't ask me again what I'm gonna make with this. I've run out of flies." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, yeah, 172. It could be mitts. It could be a, it could be more than one hat. Maybe mm -hmm. a hat for me and and I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> what did you get? Um, I went ahead and put in a knit picks order. Ah, uh, you didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it was one of those like it was click click click. Yeah, <laughs> it, it really was. Like I think in the span Before of five minutes <laughs> from receive email, check out sale, <laughs> insert cash. Yes. Yeah. Um, I got some. I got a bunch Ooh. of fleecy essentially. Um, my husband has been my darn Ooh. husband man. He keeps asking for things. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? She's eyeing up my stuff. <laughs> Um, he's been asking for stripy socks. I make lots of stripy socks and none for him. Aww. So I got him two of these. This is the fingering weight fleecy in the marsh colorway. It's nice. And then I got two of these. Also fleecy fingering weight. And that is more manly. It is. In the firefighter colorway. Oh, so cool. he's got two pairs of stripy sock yarn in the stash. And then I got some sport because <laughs> enabler. <laughs> I haven't knit sport socks, sport weight socks yet, and they go so fast that I thought it would be appropriate <laughs> for my kids. Yes, because who wants to spend a whole lot of time knitting for your kids? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> mother of the year. <laughs> I, I knit for my kids. I know, I know. That that. <laughs> puts me right up there. I have sweaters. Sweaters. I do. I knit for sweaters. For growing toddlers. And for, yeah. For toddlers. Man, I am awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> knit picks, Felici, sport weight. It's this is, way. I thought, I think this is for my son. I know some people might think, ooh, little girly for a boy. This is the Southwest colorway, but I wouldn't knit it for my a man. My boy doesn't care. But for a boy? Yeah. It's just fun. Yeah. That's really festive. He doesn't care, and I don't care. And I got two of them, I because I had no idea how much yardage I would need. So I might get more than one pair of socks out of this. And then for my girl. Oh, that is, that, it's that's pretty. a really, this really is little the, girl color. It is. <clears throat> this is the macaroon colorway in the sport weight. So they're not going to happen anytime soon. This is just stash. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a nice stash. Nothing wrong with that. So I think that's it. Yeah, I that's think it. We so let's, let's say what we're it. wearing. Okay. Yeah, because we've had a few questions, you know, um, personal emails and PMs mm -hmm. asking what we were wearing. So we thought it might be a good thing to say. Um, this is the Vermont shawl. It's by Hannah Breitz. And I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I knit it out of Madeline Tosh Prairie in the tart color <laughs> and it's it's this is one of my most favorite things I've ever knit um, it's beautiful she's got it tied up behind so it kind of yeah. looks like a shrug which is one of the lovely things you can do I I with can a shawl people who off. say I what would I do with a shawl be all granny no no <laughs> and it stays on better when you do that too isn't this gorgeous so, it's a half circle it's just shawl lovely 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 and I am wearing um, the Hampton, oh, Hampton Bay, Hampton cardigan, Hampton cardigan. Yeah, the Hampton cardigan by Cecily Glawick McDonald from the New England Knits, and it is out of Barocco DK, and it's very comfy. It's a beautiful cardigan. Thank you. I really like it. I kind of wanted to knit it. <laughs> be all matchy matchy. I know. Well, then people will really think <laughs> that we're sisters. <laughs> well, we're gonna do that later. Um, we're, yeah, we're we actually are. both going to knit the Acer, so we might try to do another um, knit-along. 
um, mm -hmm. do the Acer, which is not, which is a paid for pattern. Mm -hmm. um, but you could, I mean, we're always super open with our knit alongs in our SMB group. Sometimes we pick a pattern mm -hmm. and knit that, but a lot of times it's just, hey, knit a cardigan. We're yeah. knitting a cardigan. And <laughs> honestly, <laughs> and we might say like, knit a cardigan month of May, yeah. but mm, kind of eeks into June and July. <laughs> <laughs> we're really laid back when it comes to that, except for unless we're doing a prize drawing, which I think done a couple of times with our SMB. With our SMB. And for this group, mm -hmm. for the Mustache Podcast group, yeah. um, go over, check it out, join. Yeah. And we're, I, I want to want to apologize in advance for not announcing it before. We had no idea. It was kind of a spur of the moment yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> so if you feel like, oh, I wish I had known, I wish I had cast on, you still have time oh. to do this. Yeah, sport weight. Um, check it out. Yeah, sport weight. <laughs> Tiny sock. The only requirement is that it is a sock, a foot yeah. covering, essentially. Yeah, two, actually. Two, yeah. a, a pair. pair. Yeah, and that you, um, it can be baby socks, booties, just that you cast on and finish it during mm -hmm. the month of March. Mm -hmm. And um, the, uh, as of March 1st, I announced it and I threw it out there, mm -hmm. um, a, a prize gain, and I did not bring it over here to show to you. But there's a lovely picture. There's a go beautiful to the picture. It's <laughs> Sweet Georgia. Sweet Georgia. Tough it's, love. It's a nice blue color. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. um, and that you post it in the FO thread. And if you mm -hmm. just go over to our group, you'll see it's stickied. And it's a link. It takes you over to our SMB group, which is where we were originally having the um, the knit along. Yeah. So, yeah. So it's like, it's like a, a link to a link. <laughs> link to link to link to links. And I'll put a link in the show notes <laughs> to our group. Yes. So you can find all of that information there. Yes. And you can find us on Plurk and Instagram and everything. And we'll have that all at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the blog, it'll be there. And we're on iTunes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> we're on iTunes. Yes. So. Uh, but we will still embed the video for anybody who's concerned mm -hmm. that they don't go through iTunes, that they just want to keep going to the blog. We will continue to embed the video there at the blog. We may move the blog from Blogger yeah. to some other hosting, but it will hopefully be as seamless as possible when we actually get around yeah. to doing that. So let's cut this off. And yeah. thank you. Thank you. We thank hope you, you guys have a nice two weeks. Yes. And we'll see you end of March. Yes. And Say towards hi. the end of March. Say hi around the water cooler. Yeah, <laughs> come say hi to us. All right, bye. Bye. bye.